All right, I'm gonna put a quick video together here. This is my wood burning stove. Uh, I believe it's also designed to burn coal, although it doesn't have a great shaker. But at any rate, wood burning stove, burn wood in it most of the time. But I'm making this video because I've converted it to be used when it's convenient as an oil burning stove. So this here is a five gallon bucket with used motor oil in it. Motor oil comes down this hose to this ball valve, through the hose to a one inch square, uh, one inch square tubing. It's about 24 inches long. And I've got it welded up to a little bracket here, but this whole thing, uh, it's not fixed in place. It's just held in there by gravity so I can pull it out. The oil drips down that square tubing and burns inside the combustion box here. And all that is stainless steel dog bowl and the hose, the uh, square tubing rather, goes down to about an inch above the dog bowl where it burns. But of course it needs oxygen to combust. So I've got this old refrigerator compressor. It's wired to a switch. And I just have a piece of rubber tubing that comes out of it. it goes into this piece of copper tubing, which goes all the way down the square tubing. And that provides the air for the combustion and works flawlessly. I started off with about maybe a quarter cup of diesel fuel that's burning in the dog dish. I light it with a blowtorch, pretty, pretty easy lights right away. Then I turn the valve on and oil starts flowing. By the time the diesel is, is just about burned up, the oil has started to drip into the dog dish. And at that time, the dog dish is also really hot. So the heat of the, of the stainless steel dog bowl sort of vaporizes the oil, makes it very flammable, burns really well. And uh, I've got this fan blowing on the top of the wood stove, which, um, you know, I put that there back when I was, you know, first using it to burn wood. But um, even with burning oil, you can see here I'm right about at 500 degrees. <clears throat> and uh, that's with a very constant flow of air over the top of this thing. So it is putting out a tremendous amount of heat. It's 19 degrees outside right now. And inside my shop here, it's about 62 degrees. So it works really well. And uh, maybe you'll be able to find this video useful. I, I'm making it primarily because I looked on the internet to try to get some guidance when I put this together. Uh, I tried a lot of different fans, like hair dryer style fans and things like that. None of that worked and they were really loud and obnoxious and uh, created so much, moved so much air volume wise that it would start to leak out of the, the, the wood stove box here. But this refrigerator compressor does the trick. Small amount of air, but very high velocity, high pressure and going through that small brass tube or copper tube, very high velocity. Tremendous amount of combustion, tremendous amount of heat, uh, works great. Burns about an inch of oil per hour in that five gallon bucket. So you do an oil change and uh, pretty much heat your shop for the day for free. And uh, there is maybe just a little bit, like a wisp of, of dark smoke coming out of the chimney, but um, it's really hardly worth mentioning. And I'm, I'm not gonna go outside and show you because it's, it's too cold for that. It's 19 degrees outside. So you have to take my word, but it works really well. Good luck if you're making your own.